Hey guys, Uma here from Dagron Gaming, and in this video I'm going to be going over the blade mail. I was going to make this guide back when it changed in 6.87, but I am a very lazy son of a bitch, so I'm going to do it now. This item is pretty simple, so it should be easy to understand and utilize during your matches, but before I go all over that stuff, I'll start off with the numbers like always. Blade mail is built from a broadsword, chain mail, and a robe of agi for a total of 2,200 gold. Once completed, this item will give you plus 10 intelligence, plus 22 attack damage, or plus 32 if you're an int hero, and plus 6 armor. Blademail has an active ability called Damage Return. Using this active is simply referred to as using Blademail, or using BM. This active costs 25 mana and will last 4.5 seconds, has a cooldown of 18 seconds. As the active ability's name suggests, damage will be returned to the unit that dealt it while also piercing spell immunity. The damage type returned will be the same as the damage type received. This will also ignore damage marked as HP removal, such as Ancient Apparition's Ice Blast and Axe's Calling Blade. The HP removal from Ice Blast and Calling Blade only occurs when the target is below a threshold. Any damage above the threshold will still be returned. This item does not work against buildings, allied units, and wards from heroes. Hero wards, such as Phoenix Sun, Plague Ward, Death Ward, and Mines, will not return damage to the caster. These are all considered separate units, meaning the damage will be returned to them. They will however take no damage. Power Cogs is considered a hero ward, but will return damage to Clockwork. I'm not sure if this is intentional or a bug, but it's important to know. Blade Mill will return damage before the reductions in the same form as it is dealt. Magic, physical, or pure. Let's say you're being attacked by a spell that deals 100 magic damage. Both players would only take 75 magic damage if they both have 25% magic resistance. The fact that damage is returned before damage reductions means that if you have 50% magic resistance and the enemy only has 25%, you will only take 50 magic damage and the enemy will take 75. This applies to all damage types except for pure because there's no way to reduce pure damage. All pure damage will be returned in full. Blade Bale is best used on heroes with a high health pool, such as tanks and initiators. These heroes are typically strength heroes, and because these heroes have higher resistance to damage, the enemy will end up taking more damage from their own attacks than you do. Heroes such as Clockwork and Spirit Breaker are a good example of these. Legion Commander players should get this in all of their games. They constantly go one-on-one -on -one with heroes, so having blade mail will give you the advantage. Axe is a hero that pretty much requires blade mail to function, but not really. As an initiator, Axe soaks up a lot of damage. His Berserker's Call gives him bonus 40 armor, which puts him at about 70% physical resistance, give or take. Combined with blade mail, you will take a lot less damage than anyone caught in your call. There's one last thing I'd like to point out about blade mail before I end this video. This item will not be as effective if you have less health and less damage resistance than the enemy. As per the example from before, with the numbers flipped, if you have 25% magic resistance and the enemy hero has 50, the only way to win in that situation is to compensate with more health and or more damage. Always make sure that your hero can take the hits before jumping in. That will be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. That would be a very nice thing to wake up to. The more people that like these, the more I'll make. And there's also a chance I'll be doing a stream to show you how bad I am while explaining hero builds. This will be easier than making a video for just one hero because there are a lot of different builds you can have. Like I've said before, every item is situational. I'll put a link to the Twitch channel uh, down in the description below, and also a link to my friend's Twitch channel. He's basically the guy that I get all of my recordings from because he's actually very good at this game. Anyways, thank you for watching.